And I'm talking about the number of suicides and depression cases that we're handling, especially among the youth. I'm talking about the age of 24 just after campus all the way to 37. These are people who are struggling. You've gone to school or you've invested X, Y, Z, but still it's not giving you the returns. Mm. How do you reach out to these people? How do we tell our, fa how will the failure stories or coming together and creating this synergy actually avert loss of life, rehab? Um, so that is actually part of the plan that we want to do. We would like to, as failure stories, to go around the universities in the country and just talk to these young guys, you know. Just tell them that, okay, fine, you know, this microwave generation, this, you know, wanting everything um, right now, it's really, it, you, it, in some aspects of your life, fine, but when it comes to business, you need to respect the process because there's a process. There's nothing as an overnight success. Overnight success can take 20 years. You just won't see the 20 years. You will just think it's an overnight success. So that is what we want to do. And one thing we've realized with a lot of um, us young people is that we don't like to talk about our failures. Yeah, We really shun the idea of talking about um, our failures. So what I've done and um, since I started doing failure stories is just to encourage people to, to share. Yeah, And through the sessions that we've done, we're able to see people are more open yeah, to, to discuss their failures. And you know what? When you discuss your failures, you don't know who's in the room. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone might just be there and 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 help and you and be the solution to your be the solution to your problem. But then the question is, Rehab, if we look at the demographic, yes, we've already said it's the youth who are you know in this particular target or rather mm. your primary target. But then let's look about at, let's look at the gender aspect. Mm. Women are used to sharing, whether it's successes, mm. losses, and such. Then comes boy child. <laughs> the men do not <laughs> talk about it. Do not yes. talk about it. How do we bring men on board to not only just talk about their successes but also that they also found it difficult mm. getting where they got michelle <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the boy child i feel you very much on that yeah. um let me take us back to our african nature we have been born and, and you've been taught from a very young age you know men you don't cry you don't show your weakness in public so a lot of us gentlemen have grown up um, um, not being able to be vulnerable in such situations but i think it's important that we actually get that to that place where we actually um, as a man you, you accept that i'm vulnerable and you know i can i can fail and move on from there it's it's a working in progress but it's very important even for for guys to actually get off the the old way of thinking and actually say you know i failed let me come up to the table i'll give an example i have a friend of mine um he's a muzungu and what i like about him is he had a very good job he was making it it per month in in nairobi but he lost his job but he, he didn't go into you know into depression and 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 close himself up he actually came to me and told me my brother i've actually i've been laid off from my work do you have anything that we can work together, even if I can get a 50k per month, let's do something together. But as African men, we, we don't have that. We, 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 we shy away from that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that we can actually look into you know, being open and being vulnerable, being especially open. as men.